All the top stories and transfer rumors from Friday's national newspapers. The Guardian. Newcastle are closing in on the signing of striker Hugo Ikidiki after Rance accepted an offer of 30 million euros, 25.6 million pounds, plus up to 5 million euros in add-ons. Juventus have offered Paul Pogba a net salary of about 8 million euros, 6.8 million pounds, a year, plus potentially lucrative bonuses, as they try to persuade him to return. Transfer Center Live. Transfers. What does your club need? Get Sky Sports, download the Sky Sports app. Hugo Ikidiki could be set for a move to the Premier League. A number of Premier League clubs have shown interest in defender Ben Mee, who is set to leave Burnley following their relegation and end an 11-year relationship. With the club, the Sun, Alexander Zinchenko had to be talked out of heading home to the front line when war broke out in Ukraine earlier this year. Alexander Zinchenko starred for Ukraine in their World Cup playoff semi-final win over Scotland on Wednesday. Jose Mourinho's former assistant Joao Sacramento is in talks to take on his first permanent managerial position. Barcelona are, according to a report in Spain, going to rent out the no-camp pitch this summer at £255 per player in a desperate bid to lower their staggering. Daily Mail. Lyon are confident of reaching agreement to re-sign Arsenal striker Alexander Lacazette on a free transfer, with the Gunners now stepping up their efforts to sign Manchester City's Gabriel Jesus. RB Leipzig are battling to retain Josco Givardial amid mounting interest from England, led by Chelsea and Tottenham. Liverpool are enraged by the constant barrage of false claims being promoted by the French government and have vowed to prove how badly treated their fans. We're at the Champions League final. Tottenham will turn their attentions back to Torino's Gleison Bremer, recently named Serie A Defender of the Year, if they are unable to secure a deal for Inter Milan's Alessandro Bastoni. Christian Pulisic has admitted he wants more playing time at Chelsea next season and is excited for the club's future after Todd Bowley's takeover was. Christian Pulisic celebrates after scoring a late winner against West Ham. NBA great LeBron James has become only the second sportsman, following Michael Jordan, to become a billionaire thanks to his investments in film companies. Sponsorship deals and ownership stakes in sports franchises including Liverpool. Daily Mirror. Peter Shilton has slammed Boris Johnson for ignoring his pleas over a ban on betting firms sponsoring football shirts. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag has been handed a £50 million boost ahead of the summer transfer window with players leaving the club. Marco Asensio has opened the door to leaving Real Madrid after reports emerged that he had been offered to Manchester United by agent Jorge Mendes. Marco Asensio celebrates after his goal in the Madrid Derby. Daily Express. Newcastle are set to renew their efforts to sign Belgium international winger Yannick Carrasco after failing to secure him in the January window. Juventus are reportedly preparing to offer Arsenal a swap deal which would see long-term target Arthur Mello come to London in exchange for Gabriel Martinelli. Newcastle will return for Everton striker Dominic Calvert-Lewin if Hugo Ikidiki decides it is too early in his career to leave French club Reims and move to another country. The Times. Everton are confident of signing James Tarkovsky on a free transfer as Frank Lampard begins overhauling his squad. James Tarkovsky's Burnley contract expires this month. MCC will review its ticket prices for next summer and says it will take account of the cost of living when deciding on how much to charge in 2023. The Telegraph. England's World Cup support could be the next victim of the cost of living crisis as fans balk at total prices of more than £7,000 if the team goes all the way in. Daily Record. Celtic are considering another Israeli move with Mohamed Abu Fani on the radar. Kilmarnock are keen on a move for Kerr McEnroy after he was released by Celtic. Celtic are waiting for updates on defender Carl Starfield after he was stretchered off with a problematic hamstring injury during Sweden's Nations League. Clash with Slovenia. Barry Ferguson says Scotland fans calling for Steve Clark to be fired after their World Cup heartbreak against Ukraine need to get a grip.